Company Gfinity will run the tournament, which we broadcast live on Sky Sports. Well, Gfinity's executive chairman, Gary Cook, joins me now from Manchester. Gary, very good evening to you. What's going to be different about this competition from the ones you run already? Hello, Ian. Well, as you know, Gfinity is, uh, is sort of the tournament operator, and uh, to do that, you've got to be able to design an, uh, an online competition that uh, enables millions and millions of people to play. Um, you've got to uh, execute that. You've got to then host a, a final. And so that's the role that we'll play in, uh, in, in this. And, and as you well know, uh, FIFA is one of, the, one of the world's games that's played by millions. 7.7 .7 million people are playing it only in the UK. Uh, the great thing about that, 30% of them are female and 65% uh, of them under the age of uh, 28. So uh, this is a great step for the Premier League. I, uh, I applaud them for taking this step. This is a huge community. There are over 2.2 billion people in the gaming world, and uh, this, is a, this is a big step for them. Are the uh, Premier League clubs, clubs themselves going to run the qualifiers, or will you do that? No, we do all of the infrastructure management. We manage all of that. I think you really should try and think of us as a virtual stadium. Uh, you know, we, we've got the referees, we've got the assistant referees, we've got the uh, half-time entertainment even. And so every club will seek to identify a player. Uh, some already have players, but you, most will use the online competition. There'll be uh, three rounds in, beginning in December. Uh, and as we sort through that, then they'll go into a qualification and there'll be a playoff uh, culminating in the final uh, in March in our Gfinity Arena in London. And, of course, uh, this, is a, this is a dream whereby somebody can play for their team and lift the trophy on behalf of their team, and it's a compelling, uh, it's a compelling proposition. As you mentioned, Gary, some of uh, the Premier League clubs already have professional e-gamers on their books. I think Man City is one, West Ham is another. Don't they start with an unfair advantage here? Are you, are you going to have to seed it to uh, give the other clubs a chance? No, well, I think what we do know is that uh, with, with, you know, like, as I said, 7.7 .7 million players playing FIFA in the United Kingdom, there are some stars out there. There are some people out there that are just dying to have this opportunity to try and compete against the best. Isn't that what sport is all about, after all? So I think what we're going to find is as we, as we go through the competition, we're going to create a larger community trying to play for their team, and then they'll get to the playoffs where the, uh, the teams who already have players will, will enter the fray. But I, I think we see uh, an awful lot of professional players, Ian, but I think there's an awful lot more talent out there. So this is one way that we're going to find that talent.